Hospice is a type of palliative care for individuals with a terminal illness. Its primary goal is to provide the patients and the family with comfort and quality of life. I did this for a summer in San Diego and saw a ton of different patients from patients living in a facility who had a weekend to live. I also did home visits where patients lived their last few months by their loved ones. In hospice, you learn that there's no universal definition of health. Patients define what they want out of their care. For example, I remember Dave who told me that his favorite meal in the world was a grilled cheese sandwich with a tomato bisque soup. And honestly, by most medical standards, Dave shouldn't be eating. But under hospice and comfort care, our job was as safely as possible to give Dave the highest quality of life. And so I actually remember picking up the grilled cheese and tomato soup. I remember cutting the grilled cheese for Dave into the tiniest pieces and helping the guy enjoy the meal slowly. I saw him on Friday. And when I came back on Monday, they had told me that Dave passed away that weekend. Ultimately, I'm truly happy that his last days were filled with joy. Hospice also teaches you that medicine is filled filled with difficult conversations. I remember doing a home visit for a Vietnamese family whose loved one was transitioning from full invasive medical care to comfort care at home. And the last thing they had to peel off for the patient were her tube feeds. The sheer volume of tube feeds was causing her to swell up and it made her breathing very uncomfortable. And so I remember being in the room when the palliative care physician had a tough conversation about finally withdrawing their tube feeds. I remember the family asking, but how will our loved one regain her strength if she's not being fed? There were so many other examples of honest, emotional questions, and ultimately, I saw the palliative care physician get on the same page with the family, that their loved one's comfort was the most important thing, and withdrawing two feet didn't mean that you were giving up on her, it just meant that you were prioritizing her comfort. Hospice volunteering will give you a very nuanced, mature perspective on medicine, and for that, it gets an A.